Hey, what is going on guys today? Got another virtual box tutorial for you today. Today on the channel we're going to be installing Ubuntu, the latest version of it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first of all, of course, if you haven't already, you need to download VirtualBox, virtualbox.org. I'll put a link in the description. Click this big download button right here. And since we are on Mac, we will choose the OS X host. Now I already have it installed so I am not going to install it. If you prefer to use an older build, you can click this link right here and use that one in case you want to. Now next up, we need to install Ubuntu. So what you want to do is go to ubuntu.com. I'll put a link down below for that as well. Click on the download and you want to go to the Ubuntu uh, desktop. Click on that. And then you want to scroll down and download whatever the latest version of it is. So as of today, it's 19.04. So click on the download button and it's going to automatically start your download. And this could take a while. It could take a couple minutes, but as you can see, it is actually just a little over two gigs. So whenever that gets done, we will begin the virtual machine creation process. Okay, so my ISO is just about done downloading, so I figured I'd go ahead and get the virtual machine set up first. So what you wanna do is open up VirtualBox, and yours will probably be empty. Um, I do have a Windows 10 machine running right now. Um, just ignore that. So what you wanna do is click on the new button. You're going to click on that, and this is the process to create the new virtual machine. Of course, you can uh, put a name right here. I'm just going to put uh, Ubuntu right there. It automatically recognizes that it is Linux, and it's a 64-bit. You can change uh, this if you want to, but it recognizes it for you. Go ahead and continue. Now, it only recommends 1 gig for this, but what I like to do, since I have 16 gigs of RAM, is I like to give at least four to my virtual machines. So as you can see, four, 4096 is four gigs and I have 16 gigs. A good rule of thumb here is never go over half of your host machine's RAM. So if you had a computer with eight gigs, I would do a max of four. If I was 16 gigs, I would do a max of eight. And you can see this little green area is the area you should stay in. Now it's going to create a hard disk. So you want the second option and you want a virtual box disk image and you definitely want dynamically allocated now this is where you choose the size of the storage for the machine. It recommends 10 gigs. I think that's a little bit small, so I'm actually going to bump that up to like I'm actually going to bump that up just a little bit to uh, 35. If I remember correctly, I think the minimum is like 25 for an install of this, so I'm just going to bump it up to 35. Hit create. And you can see it has created our uh, virtual machine here and we can quickly go into these settings I don't think there's anything that needs to be changed in here we should be good to go I would actually I would increase your video memory to the max output and enable 3d and 2d acceleration if your computer can and then everything else should be uh, good to go so hit OK on that so my ISO file is downloaded, I just checked it. So let's go ahead and click on the start button here. Now when you click on the start button, you're going to get this little window right here. And you want to click on the little file folder right here. And you want to navigate to wherever you have stored your ISO file and hit open. And it goes ahead and loads it in here for you. So now you can click on the start button. So it's going to take us straight into the setup process, no problem. You may notice some random screens like this, um, just, just ignore those. Alright, so we're greeted to the little welcome screen here. Make sure your language is chosen correctly and then you want to click on the install 
Ubuntu. So you want to make sure your keyboard layout is correct and hit continue. And you want to go with the normal installation and the download updates while installing. This will save us some time later. So you can go ahead and click on the continue button again. And now you want to choose your installation type. The first one here is just fine. And don't get worried about this. Just remember it's not using your host machine. It's using the virtual disk. So this first option here. And then you hit the install now button. It's going to just a little confirmation pop up here. Don't worry about it. Hit continue. So now they're just confirming your time zone and location. So that is correct. If it's not, you can change it. Hit continue again. So now I want you to go ahead and create a uh, computer account here. So just go ahead and put in your information and then a computer's uh, name. And then you can pick a username and your password. Now since this is a virtual machine, I would recommend just clicking on the login automatically. But you can do whatever you want. And then hit continue. Alright, and now we are finally in the installation process. So this is going to take a little while, uh, and I'll come back whenever this gets done. Alright, so once the installation is complete, they want you to restart. So go ahead and click on the restart now button right there. And again, you're going to get these uh, like error messages here. Don't worry about them. They go away here in a second. It's going to tell you to remove the installation medium, but VirtualBox has already done that for us. So all we got to do is press on the enter key. We're having a little bit of glitching here and there too. Um, again, just ignore it. All right, so we are finally here in the uh, desktop. You can connect your online accounts, but we're not going to do that right now. So just hit skip. And then it's going to ask if you want to send uh, reports to uh, Ubuntu. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that if you want to, but you don't have to. You can then choose to turn on your location services. Uh, you might as well. They know where you are anyways. And then we are ready to go. So we can hit the done. And here we are on the desktop. Now one last thing, as usual with every single virtual machine, you want to go ahead and install the guest edition. So just go up to your virtual box menu bar and go to devices and then click on the insert guest editions CD image. You're going to get a little pop up here and you just want to click the run button and it's going to ask you to enter your password to authenticate this. Go ahead and enter that in, then click on the authenticate, and it is going to install the guest editions for you. So just give that a minute here. So the guest editions are still installing, but um, you may get this pop up as well that there's been updated software. Uh, you want to go ahead and install that too. Alrighty guys, so the guest editions have finished installing and they closed uh, the terminal automatically and the best way to tell that it worked is if we resize this window it automatically scales the resolution. Now, the only last thing we need to do is let that uh, little update finish up here in the software updater. You can see it's uh, installing that right there. And once that finishes up, guys, you are good to go with Ubuntu. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more virtual machine stuff or some uh, cool Ubuntu videos. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually messed with this software. And I'm, you know, really happy to be able to get back and uh, try to play with it some more. So, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If not, I will catch you all in the next video.